here, ladies and gentlemen, as we uh, head down the glacier here on the left-hand side at the 7 o'clock, you'll see this big ridge of rock, ice, and snow over there. This is the full summit, or four summit. Pretty important mountain here. Now, we can't see the true summit of this mountain, unfortunately, from the uh, valley we're in here, the perspective we got. We have to climb to the top of the three steps because the summit of this mountain is completely covered by the Columbia Ice Fields. And that is where it is. So this is known as a triple continental divide, or a hydrogeographic apex of North America. Really critical place for fresh water. We're going to go over just a bit of the hydrodynamics with you guys. So, first of all, the Atlantic watershed, so ice and snow melting and draining off the top of Mount Snow Dome. Heads south over the Columbia Ice Fields to Saskatchewan for fresh water, certainly, hitting a number of these major rivers throughout North America. Now, it may look like we're heading off the glacier here, but we're not. Yeah, so, underneath all of this rock here, there's a ton of ice. Over top of, around, two to three hundred feet of ice. Because there's about a foot and a half of this rock and debris, acts like an insulating barrier. The movement here, to make Glacier, which is retreating at 15 meters annually, this area is only retreating by about a meter and a half every year, down into the left, as all this ice melts underneath it. That's why we're at such a really higher level here than the rest of the glacier. In this point, uh, or at this point, we get a great perspective on how much ice we've lost since the end of the modern advance. If you look down the valley on the left-hand side, you'll see the ice field center down there. It's where the lateral, or sorry, not the lateral, the terminal moraine is located. On the left-hand side, you can see the lateral moraine that matches the lateral moraine we have on the right-hand side here. Now these three points, we can transport ourselves back to 1843, about 171 years ago, were completely filled with ice all the way down the valley to where the building is at. So in that really short period of time, geologically speaking, 171 years is just a blink of an eye. We've lost over 65% of the cubic mass of this glacier. That flat section behind the lateral moraine was level with this flat section that we're cresting up to only 20 years ago. And in 20 years, we've lost 30 meters of elevation here, about 100 feet. As all this ice is degraded and melted, we've shipped down into the lab towards the surface of the glacier. <laughs> Oh, Tell it's got a murky color to it. That's due to the mixture of rocks, rock flour with the fresh melt off the glacier. Rock flour is just grinded down rock, very similar to baking flour at home. 